Hello and welcome. This is Martin and today I want to show you another tool in the MCP space. So MCP model context protocol and I came across a really cool GitHub repo which is basically called MCP CLI and what, what this effectively does, it allows you to interact with MCP servers via the SSE um, transport mode. So the SSE stands for server sent events. And basically this is a super neat thing. Like if you're pen testing or also as developers um, to actually see what's going on and quickly interact with an MCP server. So obviously I'm from the pen testing uh, bug bounty side. So I will uh, use this more from, from an offensive perspective, but it's super useful obviously for for developers as well <clears throat> to install it super easy get clone and then uh, you need the requests library installed um, if you don't have it already and then optionally you, you can uh, provide a link so it's available from everywhere in the cli basically and then that's basically it so it's a simple python script you see this here like there's just one python script which is the actual mcp cli and all you need to do is in your um, in your MCP server, which you're going to spin up, you need to set the mode to transport equals SSE. And then optionally, you can set the port. I, I, I think the default port where it starts up is 8000 or something. So this is kind of optional. But if you want to force it to a certain port, then um, you can do this. And now let's take a look how this looks like in, in practice. Um, so let's come over here first. So this is our small, super lightweight MCP server, basically, and it, it only has one MCP tool embedded, which is adding two numbers, which I use a provided input, and then it's returning um, that sum. So what I said here, the, that's really what you need. So this basically tells the service that it's using the transport mechanism SSE. So it spins that up. So that's required. Um, other than that, that's already it. So this is the Python script. So when you run it, it looks like this, right? So basically you just run it and then here it is exposing itself um, on port 8000, right? And so you have the server up and running. And then you simply can come over here to the, the MCP CLI and start interacting with it. So the first command you're typically doing is like an MCP C so that stands for MCP CLI and then the host name. So, th so this doesn't have to be localhost. Like in my case, it's localhost because it's, it runs on 127.0.0.1 on all interfaces, as a matter of fact. And then you simply hit enter, right? So you start to interacting and then you get the information about the tools which are available. So in our small little skeleton script, there's only one tool, which is what you have just seen to add the two numbers and stuff like that. So there's no resources or no prompts, right? So this is the first command and you do to interact with it. And then once you know that there is certain tools, you can start interacting with these tools. And then for example, here, I now say, I, I, I need to copy this out, right? Like, so I need to say add. So this shows you basically what kind of input it's expecting. So it's, it's expecting an input A, and I set it to number one and it's expecting an input B, which I set to number two. And then you run this and then basically it performs the action, right? So this is super basic, um, but just for you to get an understanding how to use this tool, there's not much more to it. And then obviously you can start interacting with it, but it, it helps you to, to get a, a glimpse of what kind of tools are available and what kind of input parameters they take. And then you can interact locally with it. So uh, you can compare this a bit to like a curl or something like this, um, that you interact with it from a, a CLI or AWS CLI and stuff like that. Right. Um, so that's all for today. Um, I hope you learned something and you can use this tool in practice. And that's all. And I see you in the next video. Thank you.